Hello, 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 hello. Welcome everybody. Happy Wednesday evening. We're a little bit late today, but we're here. Hopefully you're here. If you're here, say hello, hop on, say hello in the comments. If you're new, let us know where you're watching from. If you are watching us live, it will have a red box right up here and it will say live. And if you, if that box isn't there, then you're watching the replay and we welcome you whenever you're here to watch. If you are watching the replay, we would love it if you would comment hashtag replay. So we know you joined us after the fact. So, hey, Liana, welcome. How, how is everybody tonight? I'm not even going to ask if you're ready for you know what, because you either are or you aren't, and I'm not. But that's okay. I am in the home stretch. My kids are going to be leaving Southern California sometime tomorrow to drive up here. So I basically have about 36 hours to get the house in order. And right now I only have one bed they can all sleep in. So we've got some work to do. So, hey, Ken, welcome. You're on time. Awesome. I don't have to start it over. Two nights in a row. Two nights in a row. And Alana said she might be, she might join us late. She might not get home till seven. Anyway, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Those of you that are here probably are here because you got live text notifications. If you would like to sign up for this free service, you can text the word live to 208-425-1960. Awesome. And that's Alana a free says, service. She, oh, Alana is here. She Yay, vacation. I don't know if you if you flew home really fast or whether your appointment got finished early, but either way, we're glad to have you. Okay, Thanks and then all. If, if you've ever been on Facebook and watched a live video, you know what all this means. You know what to do. I don't need to tell you. So get to getting. Ken, I, yeah, we've been having this back Hi, Cheryl. conversation with, with the boys. I think he's actually thinking about, instead of coming up to five, actually going to PCH just because it will be clearer than trying to, you know, the five might get shut down with snow and whatnot. But we'll see. We're going to see how it all we'll goes. We'll see. They'll get here when they get here, he's I guess. A, he's a smart boy. I'm going to call him a boy. He's a smart man. Both yep. of them are. I don't know how that happened, but they have some smarts. Okay. Tonight's project. Tonight's project. I have this collection of things. I guess it's from being a teacher or a hoarder. I don't know. But I have a collection of these little notebooks like this, this little thing. I have no idea where I got it. Probably from an in-service. It's just a little, it's a, it's a really thick uh, kind of fortified paper cover. Okay. Little notebook. I've got this kind of uh, leatherette cover and it, it's just got I know I'm not a journaler, so I know that's not what they're for. But anyway, I got some of these, of course. I've got the composition notebooks. I got these at Dollar Tree, so for a dollar each. And then I also I have this book. This is Morning and Evening by Spur. Is it Spurgeon? Yeah, Morning and Evening by Spurgeon. Well, this poor little book has has uh, had a hard trip here to Idaho, I think. And I think it spent some time in the bathroom, so the pages are kind of wrinkly, and the the cover is kind of icky. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of redo all of these. We're gonna dress these up, and see how it works. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to some of these some of these covers I'm gonna paint. Some I'm just gonna leave alone, and I'm going to I I went through some of my transfers, my A size transfers and found some that I thought might look nice or appropriate on the fronts of some of these notebooks. And I hopefully, I will not just hang on to them, but I'll give them away as gifts and get them out of my house because I've had them for years and I don't use them. Can we have a morning and evening? Okay, okay, yeah, but this will be a, a fancy one. Okay, so I have this one. This is called Autumn Phrases Trio. And I like this little thankful and blessed. I thought that might look nice on 
this little one. It could kind of be a thankfulness journal. Um, those are, at one time, they were kind of popular, where every day you just write down something that you're thankful for, and then at the end, you have a whole book of things that you're thankful for. Right, so, you don't, be so you don't have a pity party all the time. Anyway, this transfer, in fact, is on sale for 50% off right now. And if you're a club member, it's 60% off. This is one of them that's on sale. So if you're interested in that sale, type the word sale, <clears throat> type the word sale in the comments and it, I'll, it will send you the link straight to the site where you get the 50 or 60% off if you're a club member. Anyway, this one, this is Autumn Phrases Trio. Okay, here's another one still in stock, not on sale though, or is it? No, I don't think this one's on sale. This is my one of my favorite ones. Kind of, kind of Christmassy, but doesn't have to be Christmas. The joy. Okay. This is an. This one is out of. Uh, re, I don't know if it's retired or just out of stock for winter. It's called Flower Bouquet, and it says that dream was planted in your heart for a reason. I thought that might look nice on one of these. If, if I gave it as a gift, kind of an encouragement or a, a secret sister gift. If I just if I wanted to make one of these a recipe book, copy down recipes that that are my favorites, I could use the country kitchen. This is my well used country kitchen. This one, I believe this one is still in stock. Not on not on sale, but in stock. Okay, um, this one I believe is in still for sale, not on sale. This is one day or day one. This might be appropriate for um, New Year's resolution type thing coming up and inspiration. You know, uh, you can either sit and think, oh, one day I'll do this or today's day one, I'm starting. So that might be something you could use a journal for. Or life is a collection of moments. This is retired, but I think some of you have this. I think some of you ordered this. Here's another one. This is no longer, not in stock, at least not for winter. Maybe they'll bring it back in the summer. Uh, teacher's influence. The influence of a good teacher can never be erased. That might be a nice little thing to give to a teacher. Or believe in yourself, or it's, it's kind of highlights be you, believe in yourself, something inspirational. Those are just some that I pulled out of my stash that I thought might look might look good on some of these. So we will figure out which ones of these we're going to use. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Okay. And Liana, did you get my email? Because you are a designer, you have to, you have to take part in the sale a little differently. So if you didn't get my email, let me know and I will resend it to you. But there's a different way you go about and take take part in the sale. Okay, so this one here, yes, gratitude journal. Okay, are you trying to get a word in edgewise and I'm just yapping? Okay. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna leave just this paper. It's kind of plastic coated. That I'm gonna keep by itself. This little leather one, I'm not gonna do anything with. Okay, this one, I've already started. I painted the back and the side. So I'm gonna paint the, the top for you. And then this one, I'm going to paint. Well, this one, I just wanted to show it to you. This one I already did give it, I gave it two coats of paint and I can kind of see, I can kind of see the design still peeking through. So I may give it a third coat of paint. So let's get to that. Okay, um, so for this one, I used that steel Waverly chalk paint in steel, which is a kind of a medium gray. That's the one we used on the Hello Winter. Oh, you can't see that. It's up too high. Anyway, our Hello Winter sign, we used that gray on. So I'm going to give this just one more coat. <clears throat> oh, you know what I forgot? Did you forget? I forgot to mask off this edge. What's this? So I'm just going to take some painter's tape and I'm going to mask this off so I don't get paint on that. 
there we go and give this one more coat okay so i, I didn't give it a heavy coat I, I painted it twice already i didn't give it a heavy coat which tends to work out better to do lighter coats more frequently than than a big heavy coat Hi, Patty. Hi, Patty. Okay, good. You got it, Leanna. Hope that made sense. But yeah, there is a great sale going on right now. It's it's not my. It's the company's sale, so I can talk about it here. Um, it is thirty transfers and one surface. The surface is the heart shaped cutouts, and everything everything there is 50 percent off and if you're a club member it's 60 percent off which is just awesome savings so check it out and uh this is what what i'm about to tell you is something i'm offering so i can't really tell you too much about it on this page but you can find out about it in my vip group for anybody who takes advantage of the sale, it goes. It started this morning and it goes through December 31st. Anybody who takes advantage of that sale and orders something from it, I'm going to put your names in a drawing and for some special prizes at the at the beginning of January after the sale is over. So take a look and see see if there's anything you can use there. Okay, now for this one, I'm going to put a sheet of paper in here. I don't want to get all the pages painted. Now this one I'm using, again, Waverly chalk paint. This is Fawn, kind of a medium brown. Your favorite color. Okay, and I've already, like I said, I've already painted the back and the side. So, but I wanted to do some of it in front of you. And just covering up. And I did, I did lightly sand this cover before I painted it to give to give the paint something to grip to. Now, if you have an old book laying around or, or a new book, it doesn't matter, you could do this, or you could go to a thrift store or to the dollar store and just buy any hardbound book. If you just like the look of it, you just want to have it something on a on a coffee table or up on a shelf. Just get you get you any book, relatively inexpensive, and paint it up in your house colors. Luna Patty Jean. Patty Patty Dwayne De Jean De Jean. I'm not sure. Well, anyway, glad you're here. Glad you're here, Patty. Patty number two at this point. How do we say it, Patty? How do we pronounce your last name? Dejean? Dejean. Dejean. Okay. It's like the more I paint it, the more I pull off and I can see orange through it. Cheryl says she knows how to pronounce it. Well, then tell us how to pronounce it, then, don't? <laughs> I would think Dijon. Dijon. Dijon, yeah, she said Dijon. So, yeah, all right. Okay, Dijon. Dijon. Okay. I think I've got that pretty level. Okay. I'm going to give it a quick dry. <clears throat> With this one. After being teachers for so long, when spellings and names come across, you don't assume anything. Yeah. Yeah. Pages. Yeah. Pages. It's French. 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 
Well, but you never know. See, people spell things all kinds of ways. I had a student whose name was J A N E T. J A N E T. How would, would how pronounce that? Most of you would pronounce that Janet. Nope, she was Jeanette. So it took me half a year to get that in my head that it was Jeanette and not Janet. That's Canadian. That's where our Bourbonnet comes from. That's it. Yeah. And it's sort of funny, my nephew went to Bourbonnet, Illinois. He'd say Bourbonnet, Illinois. He goes to Bourbonnet, Illinois. He goes to the fire department to get a shirt, you know, because the fire department had uh, Bourbonnet, Bourbonnet Fire Department. Yeah. And they, he walked in there and they'd say, okay, how do you say it? Is it Bourbonnet or is it Bourbonnet? I don't know. Just don't call me late for dinner. I think that one is dry. <laughs> And again, here you are watching me dry paint. Okay, so I told you about the sale. Le ledger, legger, legger, ledger, le hair. My maiden name is Jeanette, said Jeanette. My maiden name was easy. It was just Sparks. There's not a lot of... Not a lot of wiggle room with sparks. Léger, léger, léger. Well, and you know, all those, um, what are they, millennials? Millennial parents, they want to doctor up their kids' names and just, uh, no, I didn't burn it. I just, uh, I just everybody gets stuck. I just smacked it. <clears throat> okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm. I've got that mostly dry. So I'm going to come back to this one and work on it a little bit later. If it's not completely dry, we'll dry it some more. I'm going to slide off this tape. Okay, so let's start with, let's start with this little one. And what did I want to do with this one? I, think, I have no idea. I think I wanted to do the thankful and blessed with that one. And we're going to do this with ink because I don't, I, you know, these things might get, you know, coffee spilled on them and I don't, I don't want it, I want, don't want it to experience any moisture damage. So I'm, I'm going to use ink because that will be permanent because we will heat set it. So I'm going to pull off the thankful and blessed. Again, this set is on sale. It looks kind of... Thanksgiving-y, autumn-y, but what are the other it will keep. On it? Well, there's a crisp breeze and autumn leaves, and you're the pick of the patch. So, yes, both those are very autumn, but thankful and blessed can be a year-round sentiment, and this will keep until next fall. Okay, so I'm, I am fuzzing it so that it doesn't stick too hard because this is paper it is kind of coated and I'm going to push it down make sure there's no air bubbles and I think I was going to do this in silver ink silver shimmer ink does that sound good does that look crooked Sounds good to me it looks crooked to me <clears throat> I might have to get a ruler out for this one Okay, that's right, like my food. Don't call me late to dinner. <laughs> okay, so this is Chalkology ink. Sell it in my shop. This is our permanent option. This is Silver Shimmer, so it's got 
It's got little mica flakes in there. Very, very fine. They will fit through our silkscreen transfers. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that ink on Hi, my Tallulah. squeegee. Hello, Tallulah. How are you doing? I understand you are recovering from some surgery. I hope you're feeling much better. And chipper. And chipper. And chipper. I don't know if you want to be chipper or not. Okay. So again, this is our ink. When we heat set it, it becomes permanent. So it will no longer be water soluble once I heat set it. I'm going to scrape off the excess, put that in my water bath. Put the lid back on that. And I'm going to check my fingers because I don't want to get any ink anywhere that I don't want it because it will it will stick there. And I'm going to peel this up slowly. Very pretty. What do you That's think? So cute. So I I'm gonna I'm I'm sticking this transfer on a drying mat like a dish drying mat and I'm just spraying it with some water so that that ink doesn't dry in the in the transfer in this the screen and I'm going to set this aside because I don't want to do anything with it until it's dry okay this one this one is very pretty and what I what I thought I would do is this transfer here I wish this was still available and it might maybe it'll come back out with our spring and summer catalog but I'm going I think I'm going to do this in two different parts. I'm going to do the flowers up top and then I'm going to slide it down and I'm going to do the words down at the bottom. Sound good to everybody? Hope says so. She's still recovering. So it's on swollen and swollen so I'm looking forward to coming through the other side. Well, good. Well, she said that's super cute. Hopefully we can be a a welcome diversion. You can forget about your troubles for 45 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> so let's. This one is pretty well used. This one went to a ladies group, a ladies crafting group, and it got used quite a bit. So it doesn't, it's not super, super sticky. And that's okay, it's sticky enough. So, and again, I'm just, I'm going to do the flowers up top. And then the words down below. And I think, I wish I had pink ink. I ordered pink ink, but it has not arrived yet. So I think I'm going to do the leaves in green. And I do this orange. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the leaves in the pesto. And, and I think I will do the flowers. I think that's too, I think that matches too close. It'll be pretty, um, it almost clashes. Or I could do, I could do gold, shimmer gold flowers. Shimmer gold flowers or the copper would be too close. That's not that's not ink. That's paste. Or I could do yellow. Do you yellow? Okay. Okay. So okay, Tallulah says gold. Yes, she did come for the distraction. Good. Good. That's what we're here so, for. So gold. Anybody else have a vote? I think I think the papaya is a little too close. Okay, Cheryl sure. says yellow. Any other thoughts? Okay, well, papaya is out. I have red, but I'm afraid that'll look a little too Christmassy. <clears throat> Any other votes? Speak now. Alana says yellow. 
to Lulu's since yellow, yellow would be pretty too. Yellow, okay. Yellow. Okay, so we'll go with yellow. I like, I like yellow better. We'll go with yellow. Lello. Lello. Who said oh. it? Was that Dan or Mike that used to call it? Lello. That? I don't Lello. know. One of those boys. I don't know. Lello. Okay, so this is Bumblebee. And it's our ink. It's a nice looking yellow. So I'm going to, nice it's a bright. Yellow. It's in the PMS colors. That's how we define colors in the print industry. In PMS colors, that'd be PMS 109. And it, that and 116 were the uh, uh, the two major colors that people would use uh, other than process yellow. Because they are just brilliant. They just pop at you. And the PMS stands for Pantone Matching System. That's how you can be really accurate with, with uh, ink colors. Not uh, another kind of PMS? Well, that happens. <laughs> you know. Okay, and then this is Pesto. And I'm going to use I'm going to use a half of a mini squeegee because this, this is a little tight in here. That head out of here. Are you going to need to clean this before you do the bottom part? I think what I will do is uh, lay something down on top of it. Or I could clean it. Alana's laughing. Well, I really PMS don't need to clean it. What are PMS comments? Okay. Clean off the extra. Okay, and I'm done with the green, so I'll put that away. You know, I've got this this camera really bright tonight. Okay, so check my fingers, no ink. I'm gonna peel this up. Now, I notice you're not using the wax on this stuff. No, right? well, I'm going to on the paint, on the painted surface. Okay. I like pretty, the that's pretty. I think okay, the so. Looks good. It's, it's <clears throat> getting washed out in this camera shot. I think I can adjust it down. If I bring it up, there you go. It's better. Isn't that pretty? That, that looks really so, nice. Yellow was a good choice. I'm going to do the yellow in the words down here, but before I do that, I'm going to, I'm going to give this a dry because part of this part of the screen is going to get laid back over that and i don't want to smear it okay that should be better here's the color i had it bright because like this seems so dark that should be better didn't that just dress this up it looked kind of boring it looked i don't know it looked a little masculine not that there's anything wrong with that, but if you were, if you were going to give it to a girly girl or a young lady, you might want to dress it up, make it look a little more feminine. So that's a little tacky still. Okay, so I'm going, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this air dry for a little bit, and I'm going to. I'm not gonna spray that yet. I'm gonna cover this up because I'm gonna come back to it, and I'm gonna move on to this one. Now this one feels really dry. Now that chalk paint, I was afraid that it might kind of crack, but it really doesn't. It, it's it's kind of flexible. So, which one should I do? Do I want to do one day or day one? Do I want to do joy? This is one of the only ones that I can really do the horizontal. Or I could do believe in yourself. Oh, it cuts it a little tight. Okay, probably not gonna do country kitchen. Okay, or I could do Influence of a good teacher. So let's have some votes. Is that the composition book? Yes, this is the composition, composition book. 
Okay, Bill says the teacher thing. <clears throat> Any other suggestions? I was a teacher for long enough, and I have sure. old books in my classroom, so, you know. Any suggestions? Let's hear what you have to say. Which which of these would you like to see on the composition book? And while I'm doing that, I'm going to dry this a little bit longer. <clears throat> no thoughts. They're mesmerized again, Bill. Yeah. Here they have their picking dinner. What do you have for dinner, Alana? Okay, Alana likes the teacher thing. Cheryl likes the teacher thing. The teacher thing. Be smart people. Smart people. Smart people. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, the teacher one. Okay, I'm going to do it in one solid color, though. Yay! Okay, so how about black or dark blue? The black is going to repeat from the spine. And that's a good I'm thing? A repeat kind of person. Okay. So, Repetition is part of the design. Okay, so a te the influence of a good teacher can never be erased. This is also one that is quite well used but this is still pretty sticky um, because this is paint I'm going to I'm going to wax it I'm gonna use my stinky smelly Johnson's paste wax because I'm not happy with my the wax I got from my shop it's just really really hard Lana says she likes black also. Okay. See? <clears throat> okay. And my paper towel is disintegrating, but that's okay as long as I get it all swept off. <laughs> Sorry, it really stinks. Such a drama queen. It works, but it stinks. Now I'm making sure I'm only going to put the put the transfer in this one little section, but the wax does kind of um, not really a gloss, but it gives it a little bit a little bit of a shine. So I want that consistently across the cover. Okay. And again, I'm doing this because I don't want to pull up the paint because I'm going to put this sticky, this sticky transfer on this freshly painted surface, and I don't want the I don't want the stickiness to pull up the paint. I'm not picking at it at all. Also, have a question. So if you painted the front, uh -huh. you didn't paint the no. back. No, it has model. That's all right. Okay with that? I'm okay with that. You can do whatever you want. I just thought, um, I don't know. I just didn't think the back needed it. I'm not trying to hide that it's a composition book. I could certainly go back and paint it. Um, it's not like the, I don't, I don't look at it as the back of a, uh, back of a, a finished sign or something. So I don't know. I might I might change my mind later. And I'm also fuzzing this really well. So that it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna I think I'm gonna not go up. I think I'm gonna kind of center it. So this would be a cute gift for a teacher. Your kids' teachers, your grandkids' teachers, Sunday school teachers, daycare providers. Okay, so I'm pushing that down, and I'm just going to use, what did I say? Black, right? Not shimmer black. Okay, so this is black velvet ink. And I'm going to use my small squeegee. 
same thing. Now with my ink, I'm going in just one direction. This looks, looks like I'm having some bleeding issues here. We shall see how that looks. So I'm trying to just go in one direction and not up and down and side to side because I don't want it to I don't want it to bleed underneath the transfer. Okay, I don't we shall see. There could be some bleeding going on under there. I'm gonna let you explain it, but um so you're using ink on this so that it is waterproof. Is the chalk paint? Not no, it isn't. But what I would what I would most likely do is spray this with uh, an acrylic spray, or I might paint over it with Mod Podge. Check my fingers, peel this off. It's 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 tugging. Cross your fingers that it doesn't pull up the paint. Probably needed to, not too bad, a little bit of bleeding, but I could go in and touch that up with the paint. Put this aside, lay that down, spray it. <clears throat> I think okay. you like that. So, table. looks. The top? Oh, I don't know. There we go. Nope, oh, this way. Do you have it? Do you flip it around? Okay, so, you? little. No, do you? A little bit of bleeding there. But, like I said, I can go back in later and I can touch up because I have this, this background paint. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit and dry. And that's the first step. Oh, this is, this is, this might be what I'd use. This is just Rust-Oleum Matte Clear. I might use semi-gloss clear. I might use gloss. Matte would mean it, it doesn't really have a shiny surface. And that would protect that chalk paint. Okay, so that, that's still a little tacky, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, I'm gonna need some parchment paper anyway when I heat set it. I'm going to just lay this down on top and then I'm going to go back to this one and place it down. A little bit further. And this parchment paper is protecting, protecting that that ink that I just put down from smearing or for from the transfer pulling at it. Okay, and what I said I was going to do this in yellow. So I'm pushing down, making sure that is all down. Back out my bumblebee. And again, with ink, I just want to go in one direction. So I'm pretty much going top down. Hush. And that limits any bleeding through the, through the edges of the transfer. Our transfers are self-adhesive and reusable. So I can reuse this 10 to 12 times, maybe even more if I take really good care of it. And I'm just getting off the excess, putting it back in the container. Check my fingers. I don't have any ink. And then I'm going to peel this up. Okay, now do I say it? Okay, you can say it. Oh. That's so cute. Well, that was that was a mistake. 
What was the mistake? Uh, the, tr the, uh, the, uh, oops. <laughs> the I parchment did. paper, I accidentally laid it down. I wasn't paying attention. I laid it down on there, but that's okay. We can just paint okay. over it. I can kind of, I kind of wipe it off. Wipe, wipe it off. I can wipe this off and paint over it and do it all over again. You okay. That. Yeah, but I, I'll wait. Okay. So let's do, let's do this one next. <clears throat> and I'm going to wax it. Use this to wax it. Now, oh, I used a lot of wax there. I need to buff that off. Probably too much wax. Get a paper towel. That might absorb a little more. Wax on, wax, wax off. off. <clears throat> okay. Be sure on your age, Ken. I don't even know how old that movie is. That's gotta be. 35. We probably don't want to know how old it is. Okay, and for this one, I think I wanted to do. Life is a collection of moments because it's it's morning and evening, it's devotionals, short little moments. So I think that's what I want to do this one with. Lid back on that. I've used this one before, but I'm still going to give it a fuzz. especially since it's going on this paint. And do I want to do the black on this? Do I want to do bark? Bark. Bark. I like the brown on there. Okay, dark brown on medium brown. Okay, so let's try this. I don't know if I'd call that a medium brown. I guess it is. Well, 1984. Wow. Kids. That's as old as our, it's older than Daniel. Okay, so I'm pushing down, making sure there's no air bubbles. And on this one, I'm going to use bark, which is a darker brown. This kind of reminds me of a paper bag. I think he went upstairs. I think you were boring him. That's because I didn't let him in my lap. Okay. I just did, Ken. Okay, same thing. A little bit of ink on the squeegee. Drag it across the screen. And take the excess, put it back in the container. And I'm hoping that wax did not mess up. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Okay. Okay, so let me spray this one. We will clean those up in a moment. Hey, okay, so that is it for inking. Um, <clears throat> you know what I'm going to try while well, that? Try not to mess that up. I'm going to, this is an experiment. I'm going to try wiping this off. The only reason I'm wiping it off is because it kind of makes a raised surface. And I'm, I'm going to paint over it. So I'm gonna take just a damp paper towel and I'm gonna wipe that off so that it's not, um, 
So it's not dimensional, if that makes sense. So when I paint over it, it won't, it won't show through the dimension. Actually does wipe off pretty easy. Yes. I mean, the chalk paint should be pretty... Uh, I could probably... Yeah. What did I do with my... Here it is. I'm going to try it with my uh, board eraser. Ooh. Okay. So, in fact... That looked like it did, in the upper right-hand corner, is that wiping off or is that... Uh, is that the chalk paint wiping off? I'm not it? sure. No, it's water. Okay, so actually, well, some of the chalk paint is coming off, but that's okay. So either way, I didn't completely ruin this. I wiped off the ink. I'm going to, I'll dry it. I'll put on another coat of paint and ink it again. On another show. <laughs> Your black binder. My black binder. The, the binder does. Oh. Oh, but I can always paint that. Okay. So the water is kind of taking off the chalk paint, so you are going to want to seal that. Okay, so let's yeah. get to. If you have time, I'd probably seal it before. You know, you paint it and then seal oh, it. Let paint it. it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Seal it before I before I ink it. Yeah. Okay, this one. We don't have time. No. Oh my. Oh okay. I was thinking, wow, we've got an hour and fifteen minutes. We started half an hour late. <laughs> okay, so I'm just ordinarily I would tell you let this let the ink dry overnight, maybe twenty four hours, let it let it air dry on its own before you heat set it. But I want to show you how to do it, so I'm just going to dry it to the touch with my dryer. The reason you want it dry is because if if you have the least little shifting of your iron, you can smear the ink if it's if it's wet. You mean you might smear it like you did? Like I did, part? like I did on the composition bit. That I will I will redo. <clears throat> So that's pretty much dry to the touch. This, not so much. I like that. I, lo I like this, this transfer. I wish, it, I wish I had bought a second one. Because now it's retired. Thank you. Thank you so much. So these would make lovely little gifts, don't you think? For yourself or for for a friend, a hostess gift, a a oh I forgot I need to give you something, have it in the closet. What did you get? I do not remember. I, I don't know. This one I know I got a dollar tree. This one, I don't know. I may have bought it at a store. This one, I don't know. I don't know. They just said, well, 200 stars by another one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> by two of them. <laughs> yes, Cheryl, for the grandkids. Give them their own little book. Their little journal. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with this one because it was the first one done. So it's the driest. And I'm going to get out my heat mat so Patty, I don't... Patty Bender is verifying you used ink rather than... I used ink. Water. I'm sorry? Tell her why. Tell her why? Yeah. Because I thought these might get moisture. Somebody might spill their coffee on it or... So I wanted it to be permanent. I also want to show you that you can use ink on, on these surfaces also. Um, but anyway, I, I kind of wanted it to be waterproof and permanent. 
So. Ken said 200, so that means you have to say double things. Okay. Thanks, Ken. Okay, so I'm taking parchment paper. The parchment paper is to protect my iron, and I'm going to use my Easy Press. You can use a household iron for this also, but if you use an Easy Press, I have it at 350. And for a t shirt, I would probably put it on for 30 seconds. For this surface, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it at about 15 and check on it. I don't want I don't need to apply pressure. It just needs to be flat on the surface. Okay. okay. So it's it's kind of. Uh, Is it doing something good? It it might be kind of. I'm going to put a piece of towel down. No, I don't. Yeah. Okay. So it may kind of curl because it's paper. It may kind of curl. Let me give it another little bit of time. Again, because this is paper, so I'd probably do the same thing on this. like it's uh, sweating okay now when it's hot it's going to feel tacky when it cools off when it cools off you want it to not be tacky so it's not feeling tacky so it is heat set so I'll set that one aside and let's pull out this one next it's still a little tacky but we're gonna we're gonna go with it we're just going to be really careful. We're going to go straight down on it. <clears throat> Again, 350. And if you are doing a household iron, you want it at medium high. You don't want it, you don't want it as hot as it'll get. You want it medium high. And you want to, again, use the parchment paper. And you want to keep the iron moving. The reason, the reason for that. The reason to keep the iron moving is, is your household iron has um, holes for the steam to come out. You don't, want it, you don't want steam on it, but it has those holes. And if you, if you just hold it down, it will leave impressions where those steam holes were. So you want to keep your household iron moving so it doesn't get a chance to impress those steam holes in your surface. But you want to do that for about four minutes. Again, you you can pull it off and check it. And I'm going to let that cool off and I'm going to see if that's still tacky. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Okay, this one's still a little tacky, so I think I'm going to do it a little bit longer. This one's good to go. So t-shirts would definitely be 350, 30 seconds or more, maybe multiple times. Another surface like this, you want to kind of, you might... <clears throat> if you're afraid 350 is too hot, you can put it down to, you know, as low as maybe 300 or so. Less time repeatedly until it, until again, it doesn't feel tacky when it's cool. It's kind of, that's kind of bubbling up the, it's kind of bubbling up my pace, my, my ink. So I'm going to, I'm going to lower that temperature. <clears throat> so still, it's just slightly tacky. Again, I'm going to lower my temperature. 
So I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Now, something else you could do is you could bling these up. So here are some little stick-on jewel things, thingamabobs. I got these from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So what I could do is peel those off and I could kind of decorate. I could decorate that. In fact, let's do that while I'm letting that cool off. Where's my scissors? So how about, let's go to there. Okay, off around there. Okay, just a little bit, just a little bit of bling. And these kind of peel off in a, in a strip and it's got sticky stuff on the back. Sticky stuff. Sticky stuff. And I, can, terms just make and I can decorate. I can put that on the top. I could put it top and bottom. Makes it just a little fancy. What do you think? Little fancy. Little fancy. fancy schmancy. Okay, this is cooling off. So let's try it again. <clears throat> and let's try well, they might not be responding but they're, they're getting they're getting heart yeah, heart again heart. again we're mesmerized they're sending hearts and thumbs up and hugs and and now ken's just going nuts thank you ken <laughs> appreciate it Okay. Nice. Okay. So there we go. That kind of that kind of bubbled up the ink. I'm gonna see if it's still tacky when it cools off. And this this is no longer tacky. So those that was my project for tonight. Dressing up some ordinary a book, uh, a, a journal, just a, a little paper notebook. Dressing it up, making it a little bit fancier. What do we think? We like? I like. You now I have to figure out who I'm going to give these to. So maybe, maybe my secret sister this year. You have something you can tip them up a little bit? You don't have to. I just wanted. That'll hold. That's okay. Not a big deal. That's not full. No, I can just hold them up. You can. I can. Multi-talented you are. Okay. So, there we go. Shall I pose now? Sure. Just, just make yourself beautiful like always. There you go. Now you've got okay, pictures for go. years. Okay. Or I can just do... Does that look goofy? Okay. Cheryl says, those are so nice. Alana says, they're all lovely. Thank you. Just lovely. Hey. So, you know, I I'm thinking I probably got this like at a Ross or a Marshalls. This one I probably got from the Christian bookstore when, Way back when I way. used to work there. Because it's, it's seen some days. And this was probably a giveaway at a staff meeting or something. So, anyway. That's that's our project. If you are interested in any of the transfers that I showed you that are still in stock, you can type notebook in the comments. It'll give you a list of all the supplies we used. Um, a lot, again, I'm sorry, a lot of these things are no longer, uh, are, they're retired and not available, but I, w I just wanted to show you the versatility that you could use these for and I think I think that's it. Don't forget about that sale because one of them, one of them is on sale. This one, the autumn sayings. So check out that sale if you're interested. And I think that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for joining with us and hanging out with us on a Wednesday night. I think we will do one more live tomorrow night, and then our kids will be here. 
so we we won't be we won't be doing a live we might do a surprise one friday or saturday and i don't know sunday we're, we're going to Coeur d'Alene, so i don't know you'll just have to you'll just have to wait and see when we go back live but we're going to enjoy our kids for a couple of days and maybe we'll share them with you a little bit but thanks again maybe we get tiffy to do some uh, maybe, yeah maybe if we can get if we can get some of them to to do some of these that'll be great okay so or i could get ken or i could get a lot up here to make them do it. maybe maybe so okay again thanks so much and we will see you tomorrow bye-bye